The Avengers were created in 1963 by Marvel Comics legends Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. Consisting of characters that had already debuted in their own standalone titles, the original lineup included Iron Man, Thor, the Hulk, Ant-Man, and the Wasp. The team, dubbed Earth's Mightiest Heroes, first formed in response to a threat from Loki. After defeating the Asgardian villain, the five founding members pledged to combine their special powers and unite for the greater good. Unlike in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, however, neither S.H.I.E.L.D. nor Nick Fury had anything to do with the creation of the team. In what would become standard operating procedure for the Avengers, the lineup began to change right away. The Hulk left by issue two, Ant-Man became Giant Man, and Captain America joined in Avengers number four. Cap had first debuted in 1941, before Marvel Comics was even called Marvel Comics. Lee and Kirby were reintroducing an old popular favorite. By 1965, the first major overhaul of the membership occurred. Everyone but Cap stepped down, with new members Hawkeye, Quicksilver, and the Scarlet Witch joining. This incarnation dubbed Cap's Kooky Quartet was interesting in that the new Avengers had all previously played the role of villains. Hawkeye's mentor, the Swordsman, soon joined as well, for just one issue. His membership turned out to be a ruse by the Iron Man villain, the Mandarin though he would rejoin the team in 1973 as a full-fledged member and hero. In the late 60s, founding members would return to the fold and then leave again, even while new heroes continued to join. This included the Olympian Hercules and the first mainstream superhero of color, the Black Panther, who had earlier debuted in the Fantastic Four. Writer Roy Thomas also introduced the android Avenger, the Vision, and the Black Knight during this period. Many of Thomas's stories were drawn by the artist John Buscema, and together they brought a grand sense of the mythological to the book, as well as a more adult sensibility. As the team entered the 1970s, such characters as Black Widow would become long-lasting members, while others such as the time-traveling cowboy, the two-gun kid, and Mantis enjoyed shorter terms of service. The 70s also introduced a few very influential storylines, such as the cosmic epic The Kree Skrull War, and writer Jim Shooter's stories like The Bride of Ultron and the Korvac Saga. The fight against Michael Korvac was another huge adventure for the team that utilized virtually every Avenger past and present up to that point, as well as the original Guardians of the Galaxy. Later on, notable additions to the team were Wonder Man in 1977 and Carol Danvers in 1979. At the time, she was still operating under the Miss Marvel guise and was several decades away from becoming Captain Marvel. Another character that Marvel movie watchers may recognize is the Falcon, Captain America's partner from the era. The early 80s saw a number of women join the team. Women like Tigra, who started out as a human crime fighter named the Cat, but eventually transformed with the help of sorcery. Bruce Banner's cousin, Jennifer Walters, who became the She-Hulk after a blood transfusion with Bruce's blood and an all-new Captain Marvel named Monica Rambeau, who later went by the names Photon and Spectrum. In 1984, the first of what would eventually be many offshoots of the main Avengers team arrived when the Vision suggested the creation of the West Coast Avengers. Hawkeye led the first iteration of this team, which also drafted new members like his wife Mockingbird, aka former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Bobby Morse, and Tony Stark's friend James Rhodes, who was serving as Iron Man at the time. Rhodes would later become War Machine, and even later Iron Patriot. Other characters would also join the different Avengers teams around this time. Namor finally joined up with the Avengers, while Thing joined the West Coast Avengers. Both teams would operate simultaneously for a decade, each acquiring new heroes for their respective and, at times, interchangeable lineups. But in the East Coast book, the team fell on hard times during the Under Siege story that began in 1986 under the writer Roger Stern. As the main Avengers book approached its 300th issue, the East Coast group's downward spiral culminated with the entire team disbanding in 1988. Of course, the Avengers couldn't stay apart for long, and soon Steve Rogers, known at the time simply as the Captain, built a new team that included Reed and Sue Richards from the Fantastic Four, as well as Gilgamesh, the hero of legend. Speaking of the Captain, when Rogers gave up the Captain American name, the mantle was passed over to John Walker, who eventually became the U.S. agent. The decade was rounded out with the additions of both Quasar and the Human Torch. This Human Torch was not Johnny Storm, but rather a character that first appeared in 1939. In the year 1990, the longtime Eternal named Cersei became an Avenger, but the most notable addition was none other than your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. 
However, his membership was short-lived. Captain America eventually decided that Spidey wasn't quite yet ready for the team and was more suited for solo crime fighting. But of course, Spider-Man would eventually become a major player for Earth's Mightiest. Other new members around this time were very diverse, such as former Spidey villain Sandman. The original Avengers comic came to an end in 1996 after the Onslaught storyline temporarily sent the heroes to an alternate dimension created by Reed and Sue Richard's son, Franklin, but led to a new line of comics labeled Heroes Reborn. This series featured updated origins for all the heroes and was handled by two former Marvel employees, Rob Liefeld and Jim Lee. Within a year, however, the characters returned to the mainstream Marvel reality known as the Earth-616 continuity. And the 90s were closed out with Avengers Volume 3 launching and just two new heroes joining the team, the former New Warriors, Justice, and Firestar. The early 2000s became a major turning point for the Avengers. The Avengers disassembled crossover event saw the temporary deaths of several characters such as Hawkeye and Vision and the ultimate destruction of the Avengers Mansion. Two new recruits played an important part during these events. Jack of Hearts, a character who first appeared in 1976 and had spent many of his earlier adventures in outer space, and the former burglar turned superhero Scott Lang, also known as the second Ant-Man. It was revealed that the Scarlet Witch was losing control of her reality warping powers, which led to a zombified Jack of Hearts exploding, killing Ant-Man and destroying the mansion in the process. Wanda was eventually taken away by her father Magneto, but due to the devastation, the Avengers were forced to disband once again. Of course, a new team would rise from the ashes. Writer Brian Michael Bendis, who was a major force behind the disassembled story, launched the appropriately titled New Avengers. Here, Cap and Iron Man drafted new members like Luke Cage and the X-Man Wolverine. The disassembled storyline also led to the creation of the Young Avengers. Although they didn't quite have full Avengers status, this team of superpowered teenagers still played an important part in defending the world. In the later 2000s, the famed Civil War storyline saw the superheroes fighting amongst themselves when Steve Rogers and Tony Stark disagreed over how to respond to the U.S. government's Superhero Registration Act. A new New Avengers formed, now an underground team led by Cage with longtime Marvel hero Doctor Strange finally joining Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Meanwhile, Stark created his own team, the Mighty Avengers, with many longtime members joining him as well as the Olympian, Ares. Civil War ended with the arrest and eventual assassination of Captain America, part of a larger plot orchestrated by the Red Skull. However, Bucky Barnes decided to honor his longtime friend by becoming the new Captain America. Of course, the original Cap, Steve Rogers, would later be revived. During the final big crossover of this time, Secret Invasion, numerous characters like Spider-Woman turned out to be shape-shifting alien scrolls. This was a big revelation, especially since Spider-Woman had served as an active Avenger in the past, but thankfully, the real Spider-Woman ultimately became an Avenger after the Skrulls were defeated. The fallout of Secret Invasion also led to the villain Norman Osborn creating the Dark Avengers, though the general public did not know that this fake team was composed of several bad guys posing as heroes. In 2010, the Secret Avengers debuted, depicting a covert organization of heroes led by former Captain America Steve Rogers. This Black Ops team was partly created to clean up the mess that Norman Osborn made when he was in power. Around the same time, Marvel also launched Heroic Age, an attempt to return the characters to a grander mission of heroics after the darker storylines of the past several years. A fourth volume of the original Avengers comic started in 2010, involving a time travel story about the fight between longtime villain Ultron and the possible future children of the Avengers. New Avengers also kicked off a second volume during this time with a brand new team and a storyline that involved the powerful, mystical item called the Eye of Agamotto. More classic Marvel characters would join the ever-growing lineup, including the likes of the Man Without Fear, Daredevil, and Storm, who also happened to be married to fellow Avenger Black Panther. Of course, things started to escalate during the Avengers vs. X-Men storyline, which kicked off over a dispute about the X-Man Hope Summers and the return of the Phoenix Force. But in the aftermath of that crossover, Cap decided that the Avengers have never done enough for their mutant brothers, and so he elected to create a team that combined the Avengers and the X-Men. And so the Uncanny Avengers team was born, which in the actual pages of the comics is now known as the Avengers Unity Division. In 2013, things had gotten cosmic again for the Avengers. Avengers Volume 5 launched, 
and Cap led a mission to Mars to confront a being called Ex Nihilo as part of the publisher's Marvel Now initiative. Ex Nihilo's mission was to create a perfect version of mankind, no matter the cost. Although the Avengers stopped him, they would eventually recruit his help to face a bigger threat later. Another big storyline at the time involved the so-called Superior Spider-Man. As part of a larger plot, Dr. Octopus swaps his mind with Peter Parker's and tries to prove that he's the superior crime fighter. Not knowing the situation, the Avengers didn't approve of this Spider-Man's harsher methods, and it eventually led to him leaving the team. Luckily, Peter eventually regained control of his body. Also in 2013 was an offshoot of the Avengers called Avengers AI, led by Hank Pym and Vision. This team was formed to stop a rogue computer virus and consisted of Ultron's son, Victor Mancha, and a reprogrammed Doombot. Nightmask and Starbrand were characters created for the new universe, Marvel's short-lived series from the 80s that featured a universe that was completely separate from the main Marvel continuity. But in 2013, they were reinvented for the 616 continuity, eventually joining the Avengers during the Cosmic Infinity event, which saw the Avengers unite the universe against an ancient race called the Builders. Meanwhile, a new version of the Mighty Avengers debuted during Infinity. This team would fight against Thanos and his elite group of combatants called the Black Order. While the main Avengers team was away in space, this group of villains decided to invade Earth. Their goal? finding the Infinity Gems. Even more recently, Sunspot formed another elite group of Avengers comprised of both old and new members. These heroes were tasked with finding out why the different universes were colliding with each other, an event that will reshape the entire Marvel Universe. And finally, while the Avengers have had a number of active members in the 616 continuity, there are also several honorary members as well. Although they do not have the full Avengers membership, these heroes were given a special status to honor their acts of great courage or sacrifice. And so the evolution of Earth's Mightiest Heroes continues as the team adapts to new challenges. Marvel is already working on an all-new, all-different Avengers with new fan favorites like Miles Morales, Spider-Man from the Ultimate Universe, and Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel among the ranks. Expect that team to debut in 2015 when the Avengers will, once again, assemble.